this car, this car costs way too much, too much to be giving me the issues that it's giving me today. Okay, three years later. Sorry, sorry, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It ain't all right. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my updated car review. As you remember, or if you are new here, I posted my original car tour. I bought my dream car at 23. Oh my God, how old is my? I'm old as fuck. <laughs> Three years later, here we are, highly anticipated, here by high demands, an updated car review. Three years later, I regret buying my dream car. Send help. <laughs> But before we get to this video, don't forget to smash that like button, leave me a little comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see next, or just say hi. I'm here for both, per usual, okay? Per usual. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. I was gonna say, if I'm your girl, you're my girl, but this is for everybody. This is for everybody, just smash that motherfucking subscribe button. This car, this car costs way too much, much to be giving me the issues that it's giving me today. Okay, three years later. Not 5, 15, 20, 25 to life, nothing like that. Three years later, be fucking for real. I have the Range Rover Evoque. Was it P something? Look at the back. So three years ago, if you have not checked out my video, Get With It or Get Lost, I bought my dream car, the 2020 Range Rover Evoque P25S. What? P250S. 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 What that mean? I don't know. The P stand for pimping. What is that for? Performance. Performance? Yes. I like pimping better. I'm yeah. like, she's cute, but is she worth it? Let me search it, put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it, okay? Because some of these issues, the math isn't mathing, okay? I want to start off with the interior, so let's get inside the whip, okay? And check it out. Okay, so I want to start off with the interior, the LCD screen, because she is vital, okay? My girl plays a very important part. She has a lot of responsibilities, but is she holding up to them? No, because she will just go pitch black, unresponsive. It doesn't matter if I start my car, restart it, put it in rice. If I'm listening to music, it's done. You, you want to change a song, you got to do it from your phone. Not my problem. You get in directions, girl, you lost now. You gonna end up in Canada if you go off of your own directions. But the worst case scenario is if I'm trying to parallel park and my LCD screen goes black because that is where I see the backup camera. Like, girl, it is 2023. You cannot get a car without a backup camera. A backup camera is not a luxury at this point, okay? It is a necessity, it's a safety feature that I rely heavily on. So without a backup camera, I'm going to be relying on my parking skills and I'm going to fail every single time. So it's not a good situation. Don't appreciate it, don't like it. Okay, so staying on point with the safety features that this car is supposed to have that I loved about this car. It's supposed to beep if you get too close to an object or a person, you know, from the front or from the back. <laughs> So, at this point, it's not beeping. It has not beeped for a year, a year at least. It stopped beeping midway through the time that I had this car and it's just not safe. Like, I need that feature to know if I'm parking too close or if I'm about to run somebody over. Like, I don't, like, how are you just gonna stop that feature? Like, that's really important. I don't like that it's not doing that anymore. Like I said, she's too expensive to be having these issues. Okay, this is a really big car. She's a heavy girl and I'm not trying to run somebody over unintentionally. <laughs> I really wish that this car wasn't giving me these electronic issues. If my phone, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If it has an update that comes out before Range Rover's update, then all types of crazy shit happens. Like the car cannot keep up with the Apple technology and Range Rover, we need to talk. We need to talk. Oh, that's my car on. Gas ain't that cheap. <laughs> this car is good on fuel economy, but it's not that good. So she's running like gas is free. No. So yes, I have brought my car in and I don't wanna say complain, but like, you know, expressed my concerns and my issues with my car. 
but they kind of just give me the run around say oh it's just the technology nothing we could do about it blah 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 and I don't think that's acceptable for this type of vehicle okay this car is in no way shape or form on the lower spectrum of the price range okay she's not cheap she's not she's not an affordable girl I mean not not affordable because you know ain't nobody breaking my door down trying to repo my car <laughs> clearly I'm affording it I'm affording it <laughs> affording it but it's not cheap that is peanuts to the shit i got coming th th that is a small issue a small complaint compared to what we have coming up for this luxury brand this price point talk to me it's unacceptable no, you sound like sad i am sad said, i spend a lot of money act. okay so enough with the interior <laughs> Enough of the interior. Okay, let's get to the exterior. The real big issues, the real big boy of the problems. Let's get into it. We're here live. <laughs> it does look like it. <laughs> I forgot to mention another issue that I have with my car is it is 2023. Why is Apple CarPlay not wireless? I have to use a lightning cable and connect it to my car, USB. Like, it's giving. The technology is not there. I don't like that. It should be wireless. I've seen other cars that don't have that issue and they are not as luxury as this car. Another issue that I have with my car is the app. I have a remote app so I can start my car from inside my house or wherever I am, remotely start the car so you know I don't have to get in when it's nice and cold. I get in my car and it's nice and warmed up, heated seats on, all that jazz, but it only works about seven out of ten times so it's about a 70 percent rating for that mm, it needs to be 10 out of 10 like i said for this price point okay so on to the biggest issue that i have with this car at this price point at the age of this car i have not even put on 15,000 miles on this car i barely drive and this issue should not be in existence at all like i don't care this car could be 15 years old and i feel like this issue should not be acceptable Let's get into it. Sorry. The clear coat on my trim is fucking non-existent. It's ha more than halfway off. This looks so cheap. Like, you have to be kidding me. This looks so cheap. This is embarrassing. This shit is embarrassing. This is peeling off like somebody's cheap, like somebody's cheap ass silverware. From the front of the car to the back of the car, it is peeling, peeled, non-existent. So like I said, this is unacceptable. It is only on the driver's side, which makes me believe that it is definitely an issue with the manufacturer. I brought this issue up to my dealership to range over themselves and they were giving me the stupidest excuses I've ever heard of. They said it might be rain. It only rained on one side of the car. They said it might be bird shit. Birds, birds don't just poop on one side of the car and they don't just poop all right here like that that issue would happen all over the car if that was the issue if it was environmental i feel like they just don't want to take responsibility but maybe it's not my responsibility either <laughs> at this point it's just giving poor manufacturer quality i would not say it's user error because what am i doing to one side that i'm not doing to the other let's be let's be serious let's be fucking for real this is not something that i accept or expect from a car of this high class high range high price point okay because let's be real that is not something i accept or accept from this level of prestigious car the car should not be peeling at three years old this started when it was two years old so from two years to three years straight off the lot absolutely not that's that's mind-blowing that's insane you can see 30 year old honda civics riding around not chipped I've seen Lexus come out with some new hot shit, Toyota coming out with some bangers. 
you know, really giving the luxury cars a run for their money, okay? They're giving affordable luxury and I'm not seeing these type of issues. I'm not seeing these type of problems, these type of dilemmas, all this software issues, all these electronic issues. Let's be real, we're getting more into electronic components when it comes to cars, so slacking on the electronic side of the game is not, it's not promising. It doesn't make me feel comfortable. Whose car is going off? Yeah. The software should be way more reliable. The cosmetics, like if this is a luxury car, I'm coming here for the look, the design, the cosmetics, you know, the bells and the whistles. I'm not coming here for the turbo engine, all of that. I mean, she got a turbo, but I don't even know what that means. She is a performing girl, but I'm here for the luxury, the aesthetics, the the cosmetics of the vehicle. I'm not I don't I'm not satisfied with the way that it's held up over the time. And I can't even say over the time because like I said it, it started going to shit after two years. So Range Rover, get it together. Because like I said, I've seen way better quality come from more affordable options and it's giving a run for oh <laughs> with all that being said I'm getting a new car soon okay because I ain't nobody got time for this I'm not dealing with these issues at this price point I'm getting a new car so be on the lookout for a new car tour coming soon to a theater near you or a YouTube channel let's see if you can guess what type of car I'm going to be getting next leave your guess your suggestion in the comment section down below don't forget to smash that like button leave me a comment down below let me know what you want to see next or just say hi I'm here for both per usual okay per usual and don't forget to smash that subscribe button smash that subscribe button if this is for everything okay if this is for everything smash that subscribe button okay until next time Oh, I'm gonna do a shop until we drop. Oh, I'm gonna do a shop until we drop.